Hello guys, here's a short tutorial on how to create YouTube videos with the free DaVinci Resolve 16. You can get the application from this webpage, the link is added to the description, press download and choose your OS for DaVinci Resolve 16 Beta. I have a Windows system, so I click on the Windows link and then you have to fill in some personal information and can register and download for free. After the installation you can start Resolve 16. This takes a while, but after that you can open a new project, you see this is a public beta. I select this untitled project and then the project is opened with the edit page selected. We have certain pages in the workspace, I'll come to this in a moment. In the top bar we have panels that you can activate, for example the media pool, where you can add your footage. Then we have a library for effects, a panel where you can connect to a sound library, then a mixer which is not needed at the moment, and some other panels which are not that important for this particular tutorial. I'm hiding now all the panels except the timeline, which we need to control the footage like videos, audios and image files, and of course the video viewer in the center. I save this project now and call it Demo YouTube Video, and then we go ahead and import our footage. I use an example for a video that I already uploaded, it's about texturing a character and the first thing that I import is a PSD file which is the title of the video. It's very simple, you can just drag it into the application and now you can either import it to the media pool or directly into the timeline, which I prefer. Once the image is dragged to the timeline, you can see it in the video viewer and when I start the video you just see the image. But you can control how long the image will be displayed, you just hover with the mouse cursor over the edge at the end of this part and then you drag it to control the length. The image is added to a video track in the timeline and below this you can see an audio track. Of course this is empty because an image doesn't have an audio. But we go ahead now and import a movie file, this is just a screen that I recorded for my tutorial and we can drag it to the timeline as well just behind the image. You can snap it to this position so that it starts where the image ends. And when I press the start button now, you can see a preview of the video we are going to create in the viewer. So you see this is very intuitive and very simple to do. Ok, now I want to zoom in the timeline because the video is too long for this area, so I hold the ALT key pressed and move the mouse wheel, this is a shortcut, but you can also use this slider in the timeline. You see the video has an audio track, but it is empty. There's no audio waveform displayed, this means it is empty, so I right click on it and choose delete selected. Ok, the audio is deleted, we have no audio, but let's have a look now at the transition between the two clips. It is a bit abrupt. To create a smooth transition, we can grab this little handle here of the image and slightly pull it to the left. Now it will fade out and I do the same for the movie at the start so that it will fade in. And now you have this nice transition. I will also fade out at the end and then import an end screen, which is also just an image that I drag into the timeline. Then I fade in at the start, increase the length a bit and fade out at the end. And let's regard this as the basic structure of our YouTube video, what is missing now is of course just the audio. So for a YouTube video you often have a background music with a very low volume. So let's see how to do this, I have a bunch of audio tracks here that I can use for my YouTube tutorials and I just again drag it into the timeline as an audio track. Ok, but I want this audio file to start immediately, there is a pause in the beginning and in the end. So we'll cut away a part at the start, I move the slider of the timeline to the position where I want to cut, then I select this razor blade for cutting and then I left click to cut at the position where the timeline is. I just see that you don't have to position the timeline first, you can cut where you want, then I right click this part here at the front and choose delete selected. Ok, then I switch again to the selection tool and move the audio track to the beginning of the video. 
Okay, and when I play this now, you can hear the audio. Now to lower the volume of the audio, you can use this white line in the middle and drag it down. That's a bit too much. I use an intensity of about minus 15 decibels for this audio track. Or perhaps a bit lower. And I think that's okay for a background music. Okay, the last step for this audio track is now to cut it at the end. And we will do this like we did before, we switch to the razor blade and cut away the end part. I again want to fade out the part at the end for the audio, so I switch to the selection tool, you can press the A key for this, then I grab again the handle and fade out the audio. Okay, the very last thing for a YouTube video is the voiceover. And yes, you can do really a voiceover inside of Resolve 16. First you have to switch to the page Fairlight, I don't know why they call it like that. Then you add a new audio track. This is the track to which you want to record your voiceover and after that you have to connect your microphone. So you have to define an input for the second audio track. This is A2 and you click on No Input and define an input. And here is my microphone. And I connect this to the audio 2, L and L for right and left because it is stereo. Alright, now you can close this dialog and start recording your voiceover while you are watching the movie. You can see I drag the slider and the movie appears. And then I want to record my voice, but nothing is recorded when I click the record button. And this is because I have to select record for the track, this little R icon. And now I can hear my voice and record it. Test, test. Okay, here's my voice recorded and I can also play it. Test, test. Amazing! Okay, now let's assume that we are finished with the voiceover. We can switch now again to the edit page to add, for example, effects to the movie or text overlays. Test, test. But when the movie is completed and you want it to be rendered, you go to deliver. And then you can add the title, the format, the frame rate the location where to render to, everything you need before you render the movie and publish it. I set my movie to MP4 and to 30 frames. Then we have some advanced settings that we don't need now. And after that I put it to the render queue and start render. Okay guys, I hope you like this kind of getting started for DaVinci Resolve 16 and creating a YouTube video. If you like my channel then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you have any questions add these to the comments below. Thanks for watching this, thanks for supporting me and I'll see you in the next one.